Hello and welcome back. In this video we will be completing task 1, smartphone walls, Apple versus Samsung. If you would like access to the documents, please see the description below and click on the link to download the files. Okay, in this task we will be looking at page layout, text formatting and importing and editing images. So we'll start off with the page layout. So the first part, it's asking us to change the page orientation from landscape to portrait. Then set the following margins to right and left 1.2, top and bottom to 1. And insert your name in the header, top right hand corner, and insert the page number in the footer center. Where it says uh, set the following margins, these margins are centimeters. So not inches. Some of you might have your word set in an American format uh, and it will come up in inches. But to change that, all you need to do is just put CM and hit enter to uh, convert it, convert the inches into centimeters. OK, let's get started on the page layout. When you open the Samsung verse says Apple document, it would look like this. So the first part of the task was to set the page as uh, portrait so let's go to layout orientation uh, and select portrait as you can see it's set as uh, landscape so let's change that to portrait then the next part was to set the margins so what we do make sure you're still on layout select margins and if we look here we've got set margins here so we've got last custom setting we've got normal narrow moderate wide mirrored what we need to do is go to custom margins as they might not appear the margins that you want might not appear on the set margins uh, in on the list there so to start off with we need to set the top and the bottom to one centimeter so we're just going to put in one and when you do put in your information or your data you'll see on the preview it'll change at the bottom there so one and let's just get rid of this one centimeter here for those of you that have got an American version and it's in inches make sure you put in CM at the end so it converts it uh, into inches or equivalent the left and right was 1.2 so left 1.2 and right was 1.2 also so there you have it we've got the margins done once you're happy with that make sure your orientations portrait this is another way you can change that uh, instead of going to layout, orientation, portrait, you could just go to margins, custom margins and set up your page from there. Once you're happy with your settings, select OK. Next, we need to do the text formatting, so the house style specification sheet. So what we need to do here is set the title as sans serif, red, bold, 20 points, center aligned. The body text needs to be serif, black, 1.5 line spacing 12 points and justified line spacing after each paragraph and i'm seeing that line spacing and i believe it'll be a single line spacing after each paragraph so our instructions are to create the text styles shown above apply the title style to the main title which is smartphones uh apple versus samsung samsung versus apple uh number three is to apply the body text style to the remaining text and format the text below the title so that it is into three columns. Okay, before we actually start the task, I just want to talk to you about serif and sans serif. So serif, as you can see from this image here, serif has a flick at the end, so you will see serif in newspapers as it's like our handwriting so it's easy to identify what each letter is whereas sans serif will not have a flick at the end and that is like aerial the two common ones that i would use uh, are times new roman for serif and i would use uh, aerial for sans serif or comic sans okay let's start the text formatting then so first of all we need to open the style styles tab so to do that make sure you're on the home tab and then go to styles and the shortcut for that is alt control shift and s or you could just click on the icon and the styles tab will appear now here what you need to do is select the title style and we want to modify it as per uh, uh, the requirements so select modify and another window will pop up here uh, 
uh, just ignore what's going on here as it's a preview so if it does change our document please do not worry because we're going to clear it all and then we're going to apply it to uh, the parts that we've been asked to apply it to so before we do get started please ensure that you got the correct spelling because you will be marked on that if you don't have the correct spelling you will lose marks and you do not want that so the first part it's asking us to ensure the title is sans serif and we've discussed the difference between serif and sans serif and i said by default i use arial uh, as uh, my sans serif uh, that is as uh, easy to read and it's a common one by default so select arial as you can see it's got no flicks and we need to make sure it's uh, red and bold so let's do bold as you can see it's been applied in our preview window so we can see what it looks like and we need to make sure it's red and 20 pt points so it's on 28 at the moment let's change that to 20 and finally let's make it center aligned uh, so that was the last part once you're happy with that select ok now we're going to create the body text style so to do this what you need to do is uh, go to the styles tab and as you can see we've got body text one here I don't want you to be modifying that I want you to create a new style so to do this you go right to the bottom of the styles tab and select new style so when you select that a new box will ap appear called create new style from formatting give the style a name the name that's been mentioned so it's body text capital B and a lowercase t remember you get the spelling as it is in your exam paper or else you'll end up losing marks so the first thing that they're asking us to ensure that it's a serif font so as you can see here from this image a serif font is the one with flicks so what I normally choose as a serif font is Times New Roman so that's the font that I'm going to choose and it's already selected here so Times New Roman next it needs to be black so it's already on automatic so just make sure it's set on black then we need to have a 1.5 line spacing the line spacing is here as you can see at the moment it's on a single line spacing so what I'm going to do is select the second one which is going to change the line spacing to 1.5 and then the text size needs to be 12 points so at the moment it's set on 20 so let's click on that and select 12 and justified so to justify it as you can see here we've got left aligned so the text goes to the left central aligned right aligned and we've got justify so I've justified it now the next step and the final step here would be to ensure that there's a line space after each paragraph which is set to auto so to do this what you need to do is go to format go to paragraph and uh, then go to spacing and then after so as it was mentioning here it was saying after each paragraph we need to set it to auto select after and select the arrow pointing downwards and that should bring up auto and as, a, as you can see nothing's happened yet in our preview until we untick this box as at the moment we've put don't add space between paragraphs of the same style so let's just untick it and there you go you can see the space after each paragraph so please make sure that you do untick this if you do not then it will not be applied to all of the different paragraphs that you have once you're happy with that just double check and select ok now before we actually hit the ok button I just want to check that I've got everything correct so the font needs to be serif and the serif font that I've chosen by default is times new roman for sans serif i always choose arial but this one's in this current situation we're asked for a serif and that's times new roman the text is black the line spacing is 1.5 we've got 12 points for the uh, size and it's been justified and then we have an auto uh, space after uh, each paragraph once you're happy and you know it's all correct hit ok and now you're ready to move on to the next part which is to apply the title to Samsung uh, smartphone wars Samsung versus Apple and apply the body text to the remain remaining text and then format the text below the title so that it is uh, put into three columns so let's do that now so I'm just going to make this window bigger uh, so you can see 
and just zoom in slightly. So the first thing we're going to do is apply the title text. So I've got my cursor here on the title. You can either highlight it or just put it at the end and then select title. And there you have it. The first one's been applied to the title and then it was mentioned that we need to apply the body text to the rest. So I've highlighted the remainder of the text and I'm going to apply body text. So that's successfully been applied. The next step is to insert three columns after the title. So the title won't be part of this. So I've got the text highlighted as I want all that text to be put into three columns. To do this, you go to layout, columns, and I'm going to select three. Sometimes in your exams, you'll be asked to have a one centimeter gap or a 1.5 centimeter gap. And if that's the case in your exam, what you will need to do is select more columns and set the distance between each column. But in this instance, we have that has not been uh, asked of us. So I'm going to select three. And there you have it. The remainder of the text has been split into three columns. And as you can see, the auto paragraph uh, spacing has been applied there too. So now let's go back to our task and let's see what we need to do next is to insert the Samsung image in the first paragraph from the second column and then resize the image so it is aligned to the left of the margin and the height is 2.5 centimeters and the aspect ratio is maintained so basically what that's saying is when you change the height the width should uh, adjust accordingly with the height so the image isn't distort or uh, looks out of place and finally format the picture so it is wrapped tight around the text so let's get started and let's get this one done this should be easy okay what we need to do first is select the part on the document where we want the image to appear so I want it to appear in the second column of uh, the first paragraph so we've got one there flowing from the first column so I've chosen this paragraph here a different jury in August found that Samsung infringed, infringed six Apple patents to create and market 26 smartphones and computer tablets. So that's where I'm going to uh, insert my image. So to insert the image, what you need to do first is select the insert tab and then select from their pictures and locate your picture. So it should look something like this. So it should be this one if you can't access this one. So any suitable picture. And um, once you have it, there's two ways of inserting it. You could just double click on the image or select it once and click on insert and the image should appear. The next step was to change the height of the image, maintaining the aspect ratio. So to do this is you need to select the image, select format, and then change the height to 2.5. Now, some of you may have your uh, your units as inches, so please make sure if, if that's the case, you put a space and then enter centimeters, and what this will do, this will automatically convert 2.5 centimeters into the inches to ensure that you've got the right uh, height. And when you do hit enter, you'll see the width change automatically, and this is to maintain the aspect ratio. The next step was to uh, wrap the text around the image uh, using uh, the tight selection. So what we're going to do is select the image again, and we're going to wrap the text, and we're going to select tight. Uh, so the text, it goes around the image. So as you can see, I went to wrap text and selected tight, and then I just need to position it so it is in a correct position, and it looks professional. So as you can see here, I'm just playing around with it. And I do think that that looks, I'm happy with that personally. You can use your arrow keys if you want to get it more accurate. But I am happy with that. So your final product uh, should look like this.